Our God Almighty, as we continue with our journey during these trying times, we pray for your divine grace to fill our hearts with joy in times when we are sad. Love when we feel hateful, hope when we feel hopeless, and faith when we feel we are about to give up. This pandemic has affected so many aspects of our lives and that we pray that this COVID-19 crisis will come to an end and make this world again a better place to live in. We pray, O oh God, to protect us against all harm and save us from any event that causes great distress. May you bless everyone with a good heart. To help those in need and a grateful heart so that we may at all times appreciate every blessing we receive make everyone realize that this time is an opportunity to do good deeds and not an opportunity to take advantage bless our leaders to think of the greater good of their constituents and our medical frontliners not to become tired of providing quality health service. Lord, continue to bless our family with good health, our teachers with strength to endure all the demands of this new normal setup in education, and our fellow students with an ardent desire to move forward and continue with our studies no matter how difficult the situation is. And may love and peace prosper to everyone this we ask in your most holy name. Amen. Science Grade 10 Unit 2 Electromagnetic Spectrum Week 1 The Different Regions of Electromagnetic Spectrum Most Essential Learning Competency Compare the relative wavelengths, frequencies, and energies of the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Hello once again, dear students. We're back for another video lesson. In this lesson, you will learn about the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. This will lead you to understand how electromagnetic waves transport energy and we will perform activities which will enrich your understanding on the application of the electromagnetic waves in our daily living and how these waves affect living things and the environment. I am Teacher May Elona Sidigia and I will be your teacher today. Do you send text messages to somebody today or have you ever tried cooking in a microwave oven? Did you know that these previously mentioned human activities make use of microwaves? Microwaves carry energy, and so will the other kinds of electromagnetic waves. But what are electromagnetic waves? And how can these waves become useful to us? Activity number one, fill me in. Complete each statement by choosing the best answer inside the box. Number 1. The two types of waves are blank and blank. The answers, transverse waves and longitudinal waves. Number 2. This is a measure from one point of one wave to the corresponding point on the next wave. The answer, wavelength. Number 3. The lowest point on a wave. The answer, trough. Number 4. The highest point of a wave. The answer, crest. Number 5. This is a distance a wave rises or falls from its equilibrium. The answer, amplitude. Number six, 
This describes when the wave is at rest position. The answer, equilibrium. Various kinds of waves are just around us. Do you know that some of them may cause harm to living organisms like us humans? Now, let us try to determine if you know some of the wave's characteristics. Let's try this. Just answer yes or no. 1. Infrared can kill you. The answer, no. 2. Gamma rays have the shortest wavelength. The answer, yes. 3. The sun is the main source of ultraviolet rays. The answer, yes. 4. X-rays can be detected using photographic plates. The answer, yes. 5. Gamma rays have high photons of high energies. The answer, yes. 6. Microwaves can be detected using a microwave detector. The answer, yes. 7. Radio waves are the most dangerous wave in the electromagnetic spectrum. The answer, no. 8. Radio waves have the longest wavelength. The answer, yes. 9. Visible light is detected by the human eye. The answer, yes. 10. The human eye can detect gamma rays. The answer, no. Electromagnetic spectrum, the term used to describe the entire range of light that exists. From radio waves to gamma rays, most of the light in the universe is in fact invisible to us. Like any other wave, light has a few fundamental properties that describe it. Frequency is measured in hertz, which counts the number of waves that pass by a point in one second. A wavelength is the distance from the peak of one wave to the peak of the next. These two attributes are inversely related. The larger the frequency, the smaller the wavelength, and vice versa. The electromagnetic spectrum is generally divided into seven regions in order of decreasing wavelength and increasing energy and frequency. There are seven electromagnetic waves, radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Now, let's perform activity number 3, the electromagnetic spectrum. Our objectives are identify the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum and determine the wavelengths and frequencies of the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. In this activity, we will need an electromagnetic spectrum chart. Look at the electromagnetic spectrum more closely this time. What did you notice? Are the divisions of the regions distinct? Using the same spectrum, determine the frequency and wavelength ranges of each of the forms of electromagnetic waves. Enter your data on the table. You can find the answer on page 11 of your science self-learning module. Guide question number one. What is the relationship between frequency and wavelength? Again, what is the relationship between frequency and wavelength? Number 2. What is the relationship between frequency and energy? Again, what is the relationship between frequency and energy?
Number 3. What is the relationship between wavelength and energy? Again, what is the relationship between wavelength and energy? Number 4. How do you compare the wavelengths of radio waves with that of gamma rays? Again, how do you compare the wavelengths of radio waves with that of gamma rays? Number 5. How do you compare the frequency of radio waves with the other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum? Again, how do you compare the frequency of radio waves with the other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum? And number 6, how do you compare the energies of the different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum? Again, how do you compare the energies of the different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum? Radio waves. This EM wave is at the lowest range of the electromagnetic spectrum, frequencies of up to about 30 billion hertz or 30 gigahertz, wavelengths greater than about 10 millimeters, and is used primarily for communications including voice, data, and entertainment media. Microwaves. They have frequencies from about 3 gigahertz up to 30 trillion hertz or 30 terahertz and wavelengths of about 10 mm. This is used for high bandwidth communications, radar, and as a heat source for microwave ovens and industrial applications. Infrared this is in the range of the electromagnetic spectrum between microwaves and visible light. It has frequencies from about 30 terahertz up to about 400 terahertz and a wavelength of about 100 micrometer. Infrared light is invisible to human eyes but we can feel it as heat if the intensity is sufficient. Visible light this is found in the middle of the electromagnetic spectrum. It has frequencies of about 400 THz to 800 THz and a wavelength of about 740 nanometer. Generally, visible light is defined as the wavelengths that are visible to most human eyes. The ultraviolet it is in the range of the electromagnetic spectrum between visible light and X-rays. It is a component of sunlight and it is invisible to the human eyes. It has numerous medical and industrial applications but it can also damage living tissues. X-rays this is classified into two types, soft x-rays and hard x-rays. Soft x-rays comprise the range of the electromagnetic spectrum between UV and gamma rays. Hard x-rays occupy the same region of the electromagnetic spectrum as gamma rays. The only difference between them is their source. X-rays are produced by accelerating electrons, while gamma rays are produced by atomic nuclei. And lastly, gamma rays. This is in the range of the spectrum above soft x-rays. It can cause damage to living tissue which makes it useful for killing cancer cells when applied in carefully measured doses to small regions. Uncontrolled exposure though is extremely dangerous to humans. Now, it's time to sum up what you have learned. Test your knowledge by completing the paragraph. Good luck! The paragraph is, 
Electromagnetic spectrum is a term used by the Planck to describe the entire range of light that exists. It comprises of blank, 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 and blank. Gamma rays has the blank frequency and blank wavelength, while radio waves has the lowest blank and has the longest wavelength. So what do you think are the answers? You are given 10 seconds to answer and fill in the blanks. So your 10 seconds starts now. And the answers are Electromagnetic spectrum is a term used by the scientists to describe the entire range of light that exists. It comprises of radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Gamma rays has the highest frequency and shortest wavelength while radio waves has the lowest frequency and has the longest wavelength thank you for watching i hope that you did learn something today once again i am teacher me alona cdgia so see you around and may the lord god bless us all